Hello gamers across the globe, how you doing? I'm Dr. V. Now, n not many people have actually made a tutorial on this type of thing. I mean, they have, but I've tried and tested their ways of doing things and it didn't actually produce any results for me, unfortunately. So what I had to do was I had to think a bit. I had to think, use a bit of brain power and use what tools I have because I'm not one to buy all these other additional items like splitters and all those other cables and I absolutely have to so what I'm going to be doing is is actually just you know I don't know how technical I can be I'm don't get used to this this is just probably those one-offs because I've been trying to record with my Elgato on the PS3 right no results at all because of the HDCP nonsense right and how you couldn't bypass it and all that because apparently the HDMI cables are kind of like protected if that makes sense I, I looked it up, you know, I don't, don't know, I'm not too technical on these things. Right. But in any case, right, I'm going to be showing you, because look, I've only just got up on my PC screen here. Look, look, look at that. Mm -hmm. How did I get that up, if I can't exactly record and things? Well, it's there, but no, none of that HDCP nonsense up here. Look, it's just actually found it. Now... What you may need... Actually, I'm going to get right into this video. Forget all the explanations and all that. I'll explain after the video. Right, yeah, I'm using my lovely TV here. Right, okay. What I'm using is the original um, PS3 leads, which it came with, uh, which is these, red, white, and yellow, right? Because I like the red, light, and yellow composite cables. I've got that, and I've got these. The AV2 HDMI converter. One of those, right? So I plug those in here. So that's plugged up to the PS3 and everything, you know, all the way to the PS3 into there. I've got the power socket to give this thing life. Which is good, it's coming all the way down here. You can see that? Look at that. Yeah. Alright. Got that life and this thing. What's this one plugged into? This is going all the way into my Elgato in port. Got that going into life, because I need that to be plugged into the PC. That, that USB port. And this one is going back into the TV. And that's all I need. So you need the Elgato HD60, right? Need a couple of HDMI leads, I've got a lot. Where's that unplugged into? I think I was plugging into the TV, that one. One for the TV, and one for... Oh goodness me, where's this one plugged into? I've got so many leads. That one's going into... That one's, that one's actually the TV one. Actually, the what? Yeah, the silver one's going for the TV. So I'm not too technical on these things. I'm just... Well, the fact is I'm actually helping you guys out, so don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, that's right. This one's being plugged into the AV to HDMI converter, ENCO products right so that's all you need um, I'm, I'm really sorry for that sort of iffy production type thing that a little tutorial because I'm not really used to these things I don't make tutorials right I just wanted to make a video of saying not many people have actually covered this like I said I had to think a sec I thought right if the HDMI way doesn't work can the old retro way work and boom I've not exactly tested to record but as you can see, it's all plugged in and everything, and it's right there on my screen. Thanks to the Enco AV to HDMI. Not, not HDMI to AV, AV to HDMI, because I'm recording for my retro game consoles. And I, I thought, you know, go retro tech, go old school, plug it in there into the Enco AV to HDMI, and there you go. Set it up like as if you were going to record from your retro game systems. And I'm going to try and um, record some now and see if it actually works. Thumbs up, please. Okay, and even though this video is actually going to be produced on YouTube and stuff, the fact is, will it produce results or not? That's the important thing. Is using the way I've only just thought of, right, going to produce any results? Well, let's find out in the next clip. Here we are, so we're going to do this. Right, this is going to be a test, test. Come on. Boy, it looks a bit um, bad on my TV screen. But I assume that because it's been recorded, it's going to be on good on here. So this can be just like a nice little tester. And um, it's a bit fuzzy on my screen, but it doesn't matter. That's not that's not the point. What is I testing? Results. Now the thing is, on the TV screen, because I'm not using HDMI cables, the resolution looks a bit, you know, full ATP old schoolish but the fact is I've got it recording on the PC and the Elgato through the um, Enco AV to HDMI converter 
which means that when it's recording, it's going to look even better or as good as it can be because in the PS3 settings, I actually managed to put up to 1080 in terms of recording. So for those of you that are going to try this, you're welcome. I am very happy to at least do something useful for once. And I thought, you know, use a bit of common sense because one way is not working. Try the old school way and it actually did produce results, right? So... With this being said, do you remember what you need? Because if you don't, I'll just put it in the list or even in the description about what exactly you need, right? You don't even have to buy anything really additional. All you need is just about one, two, three HDMI leads. You need the, well, you need those, hang on, you need these. You need the red, white, and yellow, which is probably my old favorite. You need the Enco HDMI uh, converter, AV2 HDMI, right? Try not to get that the wrong way around. You don't want the HDMI to AV. That's just like saying from top to bottom. No, we're going from bottom to top. We're going up the ladder, not down it. You need your power USB power cable to give power life to the Enco AV to HDMI converter. And you need your power cable from your Elgato to give that life as well to go into your PC. All right. Okay, so take care, everyone. Uh, let me know. Remember, you can't tell me about, oh, this ain't working, that ain't working. I'm not too technical on the PC or things are not working and all that, okay? I'm only going by what has just worked for me and it might work for you. Right, I can only just say how I've done it and exactly what results it's given me. And the fact is, it's given me positive results more than the HDMI lead has. <sighs> Goodness sake. All that HDCP, like, copyright and stuff, nonsense and everything. If you're passionate about video recording and gameplay, right? Why should you be stopped? <laughs> anyway, hope this way works for you. If not, and you're having a few troubles, you know, just um, try and get around it with whatever you may have, okay? Make sure your PC is able to actually record this as well. Remember, there's also that thing about whether your PC is actually compatible to record using the Elgato or even their AV to HDMI. It should be. If it's a Windows 2, well, mine's a Windows 10 anyway. And I look forward to doing more recording on my PS3. Yay! Good results. And funny enough is not many people, if anyone, has actually done this sort of way. So I look forward to getting a few views and good comments. So you take good care of yourselves, fellow gamers, and I'll be recording more PS3 gameplay. <sighs> you take good care of yourselves.